welcome to trinod chemistry classes in this video i am going to discuss about the intermediate first year chemistry topic hydrocarbons in mset fset neat and je mains point of view in this video i am going to discuss about the wittig reaction this is one of the important reaction for the preparation of alkenes so what is wittig reaction we know that alkenes are the compounds hydrocarbons having carbon carbon double bond carbon carbon double bond here when aldehydes when aldehydes are treated with phosphorus elites when aldehydes are treated with phosphorus elites phosphorus elites alkenes are formed alkenes are formed this reaction we are calling it as the wittig reaction wittig reaction when aldehydes or ketones when aldehydes or ketones are treated with phosphorus elites alkenes are formed this reaction we are calling it as the wittig reaction we are calling it as the wittig reaction when alkyl when aldehydes or ketones are treated with phosphorus elites alkenes are formed this reaction we are calling it as the um, wittig reaction we know that aldehydes means compounds having ch2 group are called aldehydes and c double bond group which is attached to the two alkyl groups is called ketones when aldehydes or ketones treated with phosphorus elites we need to know what is a phosphorus elite how it is formed how it is formed we know that ph3 is what ph3 is phosphate phosphate right here phosphine in phosphine if one hydrogen is replaced with a c6h5 group c6h5 group the c6h5 group is formed by the removal of an hydrogen from the benzene if when benzene from benzene if one hydrogen is removed then that group we are calling it as the phenyl group if all the hydrogens in the phosphine are replaced with the phenyl groups that is called triphenyl phosphine triphenyl phosphine triphenyl phosphine c6h5 group we are calling it as the c6h5 group we are calling it as the we are calling it as the phenyl group c6h5 group is we are calling it as the phenyl group and is denoted with ph and is denoted with ph this phenyl group in phosphine the three hydrogens are replaced with the phenyl groups that is called triphenyl phosphine triphenyl phosphine this triphenyl phosphine in triphenyl phosphine phosphorus atom has a lone pair of electrons phosphorus atom has a lone pair of electrons when this is treated with alkyl halides this is treated with alkyl halides what happens is here like this reaction occurs the bond the whatever lone pair is present on the phosphorus it attracts the carbon and this bond moves like this then you will get ph3 ph3 ch2 here we are getting here on ch2 group on ch2 group we are getting so carbon is attaining not and in the next step what is happening is it is going like this and we will get ph3 p double bond ch so this one we are calling it as the phosphorus elites phosphorus elites when triphenyl phosphine is treated with alkyl halides you will get elites this having this type of general form when this phosphorus elites are treated with aldehydes or ketones you will get alkenes you will get alkenes this reaction we are calling it as the wittig reaction this reaction we are calling it as the wittig reaction when 
Elites are treated with. Elites are treated with the aldehydes or ketones. Here, what is happening is like this attack occurs, and this bond polarizes like this, and uh, you will get R C O minus, and here C H R and P P H three plus. P H three plus. So it forms an intermediate like this, which further forms a new oxygen and phosphorus, new bond, and C H R P P H three like this. It will be formed. This intermediate will be formed. So in this Wittig reaction, there are three steps. Step one is formation of phosphorus elements. Attack of phosphorus elements some carbon uh, carbonyl carbon of um, alkaldehydes or ketones and forms an intermediate. And uh, in third step, this intermediate decomposes and forms the corresponding alkenes. Forms the corresponding alkenes. Now CH CH like this is bond is formed here what is happening is here this bond goes like this and this bond goes like this then here you will get a positive charge here you will get negative charge these two we are forming r ch double bond ch r plus p ph3 means p double bond o ph ph this reaction we are calling it as the Wittig reaction. We are calling it as the Wittig reaction. So, in uh, any kind of object reaction, such as meat or MCET or upset reactions, so we need to write the product easily. How to write? For example, if you take CH3, CH1, if this is the unit, CH3, CH3, double bond CH. Now, what is the product? Final product is here. Just you please remember C double bond OH. You remove this double bond and you combine these two. Then what is happening here? This double bond has to attach to it. CH3 CH double bond CH2 O double bond P PH. So in any kind of object example, please remember. So if they asked you to write the final product. Just you round off the double bond O and for triphenyl phosphate. The rest of the group you attach the remaining groups. Remove those and write it separately and attach. For example, if you take let me give you one more example. CH3, CH2, CH3. And here PH3, P double bond CH3. Now, what is the final product here? So, just now I told you write it as a C double bond OH and you circle like this double bond O and this one. Then you write the rest of the products CH3, CH2, CH. Then this entire thing double bond CH, CH. So, this is the simple technique to write the final product of the Wittig reaction. Final product of the Wittig reaction. So, in objective examples, they may ask you to write the uh, reactants also. Suppose product is given like this. Product is given like this CH3, CH2, double bond. So, CH double bond, CH, CH2, CH. Now, what is the uh, aldehyde or ketone in the answer? So, then again, you make it into two parts. Then, for part one is CH3, C double bond OH. Then, second part is P, sorry, PH3, P double bond CH, CH3, CH. Right? You made it into double bond, you remove. Then, one carbon you write double bond O, another carbon also you write double bond P, PH3. That is a simple technique to write the reactants in this Wittig reaction. So, what is Wittig reaction? When 
aldehydes or ketones aldehydes or ketones are treated with are treated with phosphorus elites alkenes are formed i have already told what are phosphorus elites these are one of the intermediates when triphenyl phosphine is treated with alkyl halides alkyl halides you will get phosphorus elites thank you for watching trinath chemistry classes please like the video share and subscribe the channel